So welcome back to Stade Pierre de Coubertin for finals day at the Onyx French Open. Just one more final to come. And it's men's doubles. And it features the world number ones, Marcus Van Aldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio up against the Indian pair of Satvik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Chiraj Shetty in their first Super 750 final. Well, when we look at the race to Guangzhou standings in the men's doubles, I can tell you that all pairs in the top 10 have contested an HSBC BWF World Tour final this year, which is the same as the women's doubles. The top eight have all contested at least two finals and won at, one, at least one title. The top five on that list have all contested at least have contested 31 World Tour finals between them. Now, after this week here in Paris, Gideon and Sukumolio, who are currently number three, as you can see, whether they win or lose today's final, will go up two places to number one, which pushes the current number one and two down a place. And I can tell you that Li Yang and Wang Chi Ling will swap places with Alfian and Ardianto. So they'll still have, Indonesia will still have three pairs in the top five. And also I can tell you that Endo and Watanabe, despite being in the semi-final here, will still remain at number seven. So all that effort and they still don't go up a place. But as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, from quarter-final stage, uh, we had six different nationalities because there was two pairs from China and two pairs from Japan. Five seeds, just two in the bottom half of uh, the draw. And to get to the quarter-final, I can tell you it was uh, some really brilliant badminton because five of the eight second-round matches went to three games. But let me draw your attention to the top section at that quarter-final stage because Gideon and Sukumolio playing against Han Cheng Kai and Xiao Pao Dong, the defending champions, it means obviously that that was a repeat of last year's final. And that was a quarter-final stage. By semi-final stage, as you saw, the four pairs from four different nations, two seeds, and uh, Gideon and Sukumolio as seeds were joined by Indo and Watanabe. But for Ranki Reddy and, and Shetty, uh, they recorded their first victory over Endo and Watanabe in the semi-final yesterday. And uh, that was their third meeting. And uh, previously, they really hadn't even got close. And I think, Morton, as we wait for the countdown, I think that indicates how much Ranky Reddy and Shetty have really improved in the last 12 months. They have, awesomely. They have really played well in this tournament. It's going to be an exciting match to watch. And not just this tournament, because of course they won the Thailand Open. When yeah. You were there, you yes. witnessed it. I win did. Winning the Thailand Open and in doing so, Ranky Reddy and Shetty became the first doubles players from India to win either a Super Series all World Tour level four or above men's doubles title. Now that, I think, was a big breakthrough for them. Yeah, definitely. But we are ready for our last final of the day. The world number ones, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio, the beaten finalists a year ago. This year, looking to be champions. For them, it's an eighth final in a 14th tournament of 2019. And what an occasion for Satwick Sairaj Aranki Reddy and Chiraj Shetty. A first ever World Tour final at this level, a 750 level. So, the players coming on with the young mascots as appears to be tradition nowadays.
Our court officials will be introduced first. Jesper Hedem Larsen. Oh, Denmark, our umpire for this one. Sebastian Kouval. Of France, the service judge. And so the young mascots take their leave. This will be a seventh meeting between these two pairs, and all six previous encounters have been won by Gideon and Sukamolio. Last time they met was in the second round of this year's Indonesian Open Super 1000 event, which Gideon and Sukamolio went on to win. And it was quite comfortable, as you can see. And I can tell you that that match in Jakarta lasted under 30 minutes. It was 28 minutes for 21-15, 21-14. But, as we were saying, the Indian combination has improved considerably. Since the return of injury problems to Ranki Reddy, but for Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, this is his third final here because he actually won the title six years ago as a qualifier with uh, Marcus Kido, a big Kukian Kiat and Tanbin Hyong in the final. So he's in his third men's doubles final, which equals a record of Kido and Chai Yun of China. Kevin Sanjaya Sulkamonio is the younger of the two men by four years. He was born in Bangiwangi and they are enjoying their 121st week as world number ones. They will push the full distance in the very first round about against the former World Junior Champions, three-time finalists at the World Junior Championships from China, Adi and Wang. And uh, then they played against Kim and Lee Yongdae from Korea. And poor Lee Yongdae, who was a three-time winner of this event with three different partners, had to retire with a back injury. Then, as I was telling you, beat Han Chen Kai and Zhao Haodong before Liao and Su of Chinese Taipei in the semi-final. Sapwing Sairaj, yes, that is right. He's only 19 years of age. He's still a teenager. Uh, born in Umalaporam in Andhra Pradesh. His partner, Chiraj Shetty, is 22, born in Mumbai. And they went up one place in the world ranking after the Denmark Open, but they have been a couple of places higher than they are now, being as high as nine. So this is their third final of uh, the year won the Brazil International Challenger and that Thailand Open we were talking about. It beat the European Games bronze medalists in the first round, the three-time world champions, Asan and Seti won in the second round, then beat the European Games silver medalists, Astrop and Rasmussen, before recording their first ever victory over Indo and Watanabe. So in the last two matches, they have had to save a game point in the second games, both in their quarter-final and their semi-final, so they've made a, a habit of coming back. <laughs> Flande Limpale, the Indian coach, former Indonesian player, and Harry Panagi. Indonesia, coach for the world number ones. Seventh, 750 final for Gideon and Sukamolio in just the ninth ever 750 event. But it was in this tournament a year ago that they lost their only World Tour final to date. And prior to this week in Paris, they'd been in 15 World Tour finals. That's a pretty good statistic, isn't it, Morton? 
Yeah. <laughs> Good in finals. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And that's, that's what on counts. Right, Sarai, Rankarereri, Sarai and Sherry, what did you say? India. 121 weeks is number one. 121st week. Uh, yeah. And only Tai Su Ying can do better than that in 141, as I remember Marcus it. Yeah. Gideon, well, that's Kevin a Zidane mighty long Bojo, time. Indonesia. And what's more remarkable about the pair we're looking at, it is the 109th consecutive Kevin week Zidane that they're at number serve. one in the world. Two. That's over two Zidane. years. It is. It's a long, long time. Lovo. Play. So the world number ones, Gideon and Sukumolio getting this final underway against the unseeded Aranki Reddy and Shetty. that an unseeded pair won the men's doubles here it was, of course, last year. I was just going to say, it must be last year. <laughs> yes. Service over. One, two. this morning I need to just clarify something because I don't think I expressed myself properly when I said that Gideon three, equaled three finals the same as Marcus Pido and Chai Yun because I think the way I said it implied that that was a record it's not a record because four finals were contested here by the Danes yeah. Boa Morgensen Boa Morgensen yes they won three one three yeah. that's right Four, one. It's amazing one. the contrast between women's doubles and men's doubles, isn't it? Because the women's doubles, we talked about it, you have to work so hard for every single point. Whereas in men's doubles, the serve return and third Six, shot is, is, is everything. Is everything. Yes. And how often do we see really long rallies in men's doubles? Very rarely. Uh, I, I know you and I, we sometimes joke about, OK, how many shots? And we, yes. we say, OK, five. Of course, that's not the truth. Yeah. But it just emphasises yeah. that is really, really short release. Well, it's a great start by Seven, the world number ones. One. That's outrageous. Well, he's very much a showman, is Kevin Sinjai Sukhumolio. Yeah, but look at how effective Two, it was for seven. Rangi Reddy not to go for his big power smash, but just simply directing it downwards and keeping control. And uh, Gideon was making the mistake. Yeah, you talked about that in Thailand. Yes. Service fault called. Oh, two service fault called. Service over. On oh, Ranky ready. Two. Too high. Play on. Huh? Play on. Play on. Shetty that was being faulted on his eight. serve for too high. Yes, and previously in the tournament it was also him, so I'm a bit surprised that Ranky Reddy is getting faulted yeah. here. Because it's usually Shetty. Yeah. 
That's well left. For eight. Challengers out. First challenge of this final. A challenge by the Indian pair. Herbs clearly out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Yeah. Nine, four. One of their previous six encounters went to three games. That was in the Asian Games Play. team competition. Shetty. Five, nine. Six, nine. Gone long as well. Yeah, we're right back in this. Seven, nine. What? Service over. Ten, seven. Service over. Eight, ten. Service over. Eleven, eight. So a three point advantage for Gideon and Sukamolio at the mid game interval. Only seven minutes played. Don't promotion. Minimum from me. More aggressive. Play no wrong. Confident. Yeah, okay. Thank you. 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 Thank he puts his racket head on the sideline yeah. and then he lifts the racket up to his lips. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Well, Rangi Reddy is doing the same. He's touching the, the sideline on either side. So he's touching on one side and then touching on the other side and then that's it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got to find out about yeah. that. Got to see if they're consistent. Nine, twelve. Flandy told uh, Rangi Reddy to be more aggressive. Yeah, he's so sharp at the front of the court, isn't he? Thirteen, nine. up. Yeah, so far today he's been clinical. 
yesterday, I think he was a little bit erratic um, for his standard of play. Yeah. <laughs> Perspective, <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's got good two options here, Shetty. Here, look at that. He chooses to go down the line, but he could have cr lift cross over Sukamoyo, and I think that could have been a good shot as well. He looks a little nervous to me, Shetty. Yeah, Shetty is very nervous. His, his, his movement, he's almost stumbled over a couple of times, and... Yeah, he looks a little bit nervous. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't fooled by that flick serve at all. 13, 16. Clever shot. 14, 16. Deep backhand. Yeah, but it was a very nice disguise, and that's why uh, Kevin Sukumolio got late on that shot. It was really well disguised. Actually reminded me a little bit about Jordan. These very short actions. Mm. Yeah, now he's beginning to really play himself into the match. Chiraj Shetty. This clever play by Ranky Reddy in the 15. sense that he's playing it towards the centre of the court and it's cutting down the, the angles that uh, Sukamoyo can play, which I think is quite clever. Yeah. Service over. 16, 17. level and when you consider they were two eight down 17 oh. this is a terrific comeback yeah, but that cross hit there the backhand defensive cross from Shetty was really a good drive very well played oh, that is, that's not too shabby either, no, that was a very nice <laughs> reply from Sukamoyo. 17. Right. So 
two-point advantage and two points away from the opening game. The world number ones, Gideon and Sukumolio. Oh, my goodness. You can't have a little lie down. Well, apparently you can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I, I think the shot from uh, from Rangiretti that that clear is actually not so stupid. It may be it did not work this time, but so often it's difficult for for a player on the floor waiting for the smash, so not trying to get up mm. and then suddenly have to get up to play the clear. Yeah. So it was actually not so stupid after all that maybe some people would think. Yeah. Right idea, just not the right execution. Yeah, or you, you have to credit to Gideon for being quick. Sure. 20 game point. Game 17. point opportunities. Three of them for Gideon and Sukumolio. Service over. First one is well saved. 18 20. Pressure on the serve now on Shetty. Terrific opening game. Gideon and Sukumolio. Today, game number one, 21 18 in 15 minutes. Yeah, good to see the Indonesian fans, the Indonesian ambassador is here as well. Great, we have the Indian ambassador when Kusala Venkati Sindhu was playing her fourth final match. I'm not aware of that. Yeah, yeah. it's you, great. Know. We've, we've, we've had some real high dignitaries and yeah, but it happens pop stars, as well. things like that. That's nice. Yeah. But it happens as well for, you know, um, Danish dignitaries. Yeah. In Asia, sometimes they, they come they and watch do, the, yeah. the Danish team when they're, when they're playing. So it does happen, which is nice. Even the trickery on that final point of the opening gate between the legs couldn't save the Indian pair. But one of the biggest dignitaries I've ever seen was at the uh, Olympics in '96 in Atlanta when Paul Newman was there every single day. Wow. Oh, right. He was there every single day sitting in the same seat. He loved his badminton. Wow. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game, level, play. So one game to the good, the number one seeds, the world number ones. Oh, oh. crikey, look at that. How do you one get it past love. him? The problem is you don't want to lift it. No, but that's your choice. You have to find a gap or lift it. Yeah. You can't try to just see if you can drive it through because you can't. That's it. Service fault call, too high. Service over. Service fault. Hold on, oh. Sukumolio. And normally it's Gideon who's getting forward mm. sets. <laughs> Service over. Two, one. Yes. One. 
service over. Two all. behind it properly, did he? No, I, I know that the Indian combination, Ranky Reddy and Shetty, they, they did well to come back in the, the first game. However, I still feel that they are a little bit at awe at the situation being here in this final, playing Vivian and Sukumoya. They are not playing as what we've seen them play earlier in the tournament. Well, of course, all due credit to Gideon and Sukumoya for that. Right. Yeah. Five, two. pointing to his eye that he's got a little bit of feather or something in his eye. If he's wearing lenses, that would be very painful. Yeah, I don't know whether he's wearing lenses no, or not. No, I don't, I don't know either. Feather, a little bit of feather in the eye is painful anyway. It is. Oh, my goodness, that's outrageously so cheap. So bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but seen before Six, by the same man. Yeah. Deliberately missing the shuttle, knowing it was going to land out. <laughs> Who was it that got really annoyed when Gideon was doing that? Was that yes. Bowen yeah. Morganson? It can be Mo Bowen Morganson or Leo Leo. Yeah. They, they always Four, had this uh, psychological war. Yes. These three pairs. Yeah. Or two pairs against uh, Gideon and Sukumoya. Yeah. Always the same. Well yeah. covered. Yeah, it is so quick by Sukumoyo. Stepping in front of his partner, getting that shot. Five, six. What a fence. That's extraordinary from Gideon. Well, there's a challenge here from Ranki Reddy. He doesn't agree with the line judge. Oh, what a great challenge. What a challenge. Six, oh. Play. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Seemed to sit on the top of the net Seven, for an age. In fact, six. seemed to go along the net for a little oh, while before. For a while before he decided not to go over. Yeah. Service over. Seven all. Folks, I noticed Shetty 
on his serve seems to do a sort of wiggle in front of him before he actually... Now, I don't understand the theory behind that. Um, I think Bo and Mogensen were possibly the first to do it. And it's, it's whether uh, signaling whether you want to serve it into the tee or whether you want to serve it wide or go back into the tee or serve it wide again. I think that's what the, the whole theory is all about. So you're trying to make your opponent guess and yes. sort of make them think, oh, he's going to serve out wide yeah. and, oh, OK. I just feel that it's, you know, it's, it's like a golfer who doesn't have the same swing. And that's when you make errors. That people like you and I make errors on our golf swings like that. But the professionals are exactly the same movement all the time. And if he's sort of wiggling about... Yeah. But I, I think when it comes to the actual execution of the serve... It's the same. It's the same. OK. Nine, eight. Never. Shetty is really pinpointed when it comes to the attacks. Ten, eight. Seven is over. Nine. Ten. Oh. And that was a good response from Ashetti. I think that will perhaps steady his nerves, perhaps move him forward a bit. Ever since I said that uh, they were a little bit overwhelmed by the situation. I actually think they've done well. Yeah. Serve is over. And it is the world number one, so you have the advantage, Kevin. the one point Kevin. advantage. Kevin. And Kevin is being spoken to by the umpire because after that return of serve and the next shot went into the net, he absolutely Kualitas, stared at his opponents. He's too good to need gamesmanship or intimidation, I think. Gideon? Um, Sukumolio? Agree. There's no need. No. And we were talking last week about the, uh, the final with Tai Su Ying, the women's singles final, Tai Su Ying against Okuhara. What great spirit and what respect they had for each other. One wants to change the shuffle, the other agreed immediately. There was yeah. no antics, there was... No aggressiveness in terms of celebrations yeah. and all that. It was, it was a joy to watch. It was. Yeah. Let's... Try and get ready. Faster, okay? Get ready. Steady as well. Well, that was ambitious from there. Keep a backhand smash. You never know, to try. No, but nevertheless, it had a good chance of success. I think it caught uh, Shetty by surprise.
Well, the drive serve. 14, 12. Thank you, No. Me. Good play by Gideon. Gideon, who's normally not 15, as good at, at the net as, as his partner. He's he's won three points here at the net. Play he's on. done really well. Play on. Play on. Play on. Was he asking to retie a shoelace, I think? I think so, yes. And the umpire feeling that's just a delaying tactic. He's saying no. Shoelace is undone at the moment. Oh, that's a good play. Four straight points. Sixteen, twelve. turned to his coach and pointed to the line. Sukumonio, as if to say, was it going out? I have a feeling it would have. It was a very, very deep lift, but I actually think it would have stayed in. We will never know. Nope. It's all hypothetical now. Service over. The pair just simply can't 30. give the Indonesians free reign to attack. Seven points. Oh, service over. Didn't go over. Fourteen, eighteen. He was ready. Oh, my goodness, he very nearly touched that. <laughs> if he had, it would have been a fault. Goodness, came off the frame. That's out. Fifteen, eighteen. Three point gap here is can be quite decisive. 14-18 first, now 15-18. It's not easy. No. And I think the Indonesian pair is playing extremely well. Yeah. They are all over the place. They're adding on a lot of pressure from all various situations. 19-15. And I think in particular, again, talking about previous standards and all that, I think Gideon has played really well. Two points away. Service over. Seventh strike of the year. 16, 19. Oh. <laughs> Match point over. opportunities for the world number one in last year's beaten finalists.
and have done it. A seventh title of the year for Gideon and Sukumonio. 21-18, 21-16 in 34 minutes. And Gideon and Sukumonio are like a Praveen Jordan and Milati Diva Octavianti win two titles in two weeks. That is remarkable and that's won by, by the Indonesian Fidel players. Kevin Zendaya Sukumonio, 21-18, 21-16. Ambassador. He's very happy, and so he should be. His players have done very well. <laughs> yeah, winning two titles, yeah. not bad. It's really good, if you ask me. So, the moment of victory. And confirmation of the scoreline. 21-18, 21-16. 34 minutes. I think they're going the wrong way, <laughs> yes. They have to come in from the other side. So, what a week it's been here in Paris. As we were just saying, two titles to Indonesian players. And two titles in two weeks for two Indonesian players, the mixed doubles and the men's doubles. That, of course, concludes finals day here in Paris, which all started with the 17-year-old sensation Unsi Young beating Carolina Marin, 21-5 in the deciding game, an hour and nine minutes. And then Jordan and Octavianti beating the defending champions and two-time reigning world champions, coming from a game and 7-13 down to win in three thrilling games. Then Chen Long defended his men's singles title, the first men's singles player to do so here at the French Open as since 2007, beating the Asian Games gold medalist Jonathan Christie. Then a fantastic Korean, all Korean women's doubles, a final won by Lee so Hee in Jin Siang Chan in three games, an hour and 18 minutes for that. And as we've just witnessed in the men's doubles, Gideon and Sukamolio, too good for Ranky Reddy and Shetty, 21-18, 21-16. So the tour moves on to Macau, China next week. But that's it from Paris, from Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark. Until the next time, au revoir.
the 2019 Yonex French Open Men Doubles Champions. Et maintenant, mesdames et messieurs, les vainqueurs du double messieurs des Yonex International de France de Badminton 2019. Représentant l'Indonésie, Framington et Charles, Marcus Bernaldi Gideon, Kevin Sanjaya Sakamucho. Ladies and gentlemen, could we please have a last round of applause for the winners and the runners-up of the Yonex French Open. Allez, merci s'il vous plaît de faire une dernière ovation aux vainqueurs et aux finalistes de ces Yonex International de France. Chers amis, un, un, un grand merci. Les merci qui tombent forcément au terme de ces six jours de compétition, ces 155 matchs. Et le merci, euh, le premier peut-être, va évidemment aux bénévoles de l'organisation, tous les membres de l'organisation, 186 bénévoles. Ça, c'est les applaudissements fournis pour ce travail quotidien. Les petites fourmis de ces Yonex internationaux de France qui travaillent tout le temps. Euh, devant vous, pour vous, derrière, euh, hein, qui euh, sont les, les petites fourmis de l'ombre, mais qui travaillent toutes et tous magnifiquement pendant ces six jours. Bravo aux 186 bénévoles et aux membres de l'organisation. C'était un vrai plaisir de travailler avec eux, de travailler euh, sur cet événement. L'ambiance euh, y a été formidable tout au long de cette semaine. Si vous avez vous aussi apprécié euh, l'ambiance...